Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me at Kay Warner Studio. Today I have a card and this card is part of the Christmas in July blog hop that's put on from scrapandstamp.ca. Please remember to leave a comment below this video and also over at my website at kaywarnerstudio.com I will be drawing a random draw of those comments on the website and you'll get a chance to win this filigree die this die is also a gift with purchase at the scrapandstamp.ca website, $50 or more, um, not including taxes and shipping. So this is a nice free, and who doesn't like free? So part of the drawing that I'm going to have, random drawing on my website, is this filigree die, a Merry Christmas cling stamp, red rubber, as well as the Noel stamp. I have, this is a kit, it's what's um, stamped in here. So, I mean, you could reconfigure the words, uh, the letters, and spell different words if you like, but this is the card that we're going to make. It has an acetate here, so you can see the greeting through it, and then we have made, I've made this little stocking into a shaker, which is attached. So let's get going. So you're just going to need, um, piece of cardstock that's cut at five and uh, at five and a half scored at four and a quarter it's an A2 size so the measurement before we cut it it was eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and so we're just going to bend the fold that over over the mountain and we're going to give that score line a nice rub now first of all here is our paper, and so I'll just measure this section for you. So what's left after you cut, scored in half? You have uh, two and three-eighths from the score line is what's left. So we are going to attach this. But before we attach that, I've decided to use a silver I'll show you what I've done. I have just have it sitting here, attaching everything. So this is what I've made for this one, silver with red. And I've just uh, sandwiched the shaker bits in between two glitter, silver glitter. And so because I'm using silver, I'm going to use the silver foil here on the end. So we're just going to attach that. I'm going to use the Nouveau Deluxe Glue because I find that has a nice hold. And this will um, hang down a bit, but we will trim it off when we're done. So we can have a nice clean cut on the edge. So that's that. And I'm just going to rub some of that glue down because I have a little bit too much on the edge, which is fine. And so, this is what's going to go on first because we have the red and the plaid to go over it. So just butt that right up against the edge. So as you can see, we do have a little bit that's going to run over. Make sure we don't have too much hanging over the edge. I like things to be nice and flush. And the good thing about this glue is that you do have a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room. And then we're just going to give that a press. There we go. Now I have a strip of red, which I have already cut. Just a nice, you know, nice narrow edging to it. And we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to run it a little over the edge. And we'll trim that down when we're, we're ready. And so this too, we're just going to pick a spot and go with it. So you can see that fine. I just want to make sure it's even and we'll hold that up and have a look. Make sure it hasn't veered off at all. Well, it looks pretty straight to me, so I'm happy with that. Same thing, I'm going to run our bone folder down to make sure we give it a press. And I have a little bit of coming out here. So what I usually do when that happens is if I don't um, 
have to have things too precise. I just slide it up a bit so that we cover that glue. Where this is a shiny surface, you don't really want that uh, to hand hang out there too much, and that looks pretty straight. Okay, and now we have this nice plaid piece, which is going... I picked this because it has the white for the silver, and it has red, and it also has a yellow. It's a nice uh, um, paper in that it's not too feminine, so you could give this to all different kinds of, uh, you know, families, men. Um, you just don't want to be giving it... It wouldn't be for lately, is, I guess is what I'm saying. Some people don't appreciate... Um, things that are too frilly lately. And that might not be a description that you're used to hearing, but in this neck of the woods, it is. So that's that. Give that a nice press. Now we have a little bit to cut off on each end. Not of the plaid paper, but of this here and here. So we'll leave that till we're done. And now I fold this nice crease again. So we also have this edge to do and you can see I just have a little the littlest bit of red peeking out of there. And then this is a quarter of an inch so we're going to do that up. And then this is kind of the reverse. We're just going to Apply some glue on here. If you haven't tried this new uh, deluxe adhesive glue, you might want to give it a go. It's um, it's pretty good. It's not as um, sticky as um, the Nouveau Mono, the green one in the green and white jar. I do like that too, but it's not as sticky, and um, I tend to get it everywhere, so not sticky is kind of good for me. So that's that and then we have the red so we're going to put the red up here and then put the plaid on top. So here we have the red and so we can see how that is. So we're just going to put that right up against here too just like the last time. Level it out. Repeated the whole thing as before. And then we're going to attach this. And I got a little bit of glue. Heavy in spots. And now we are going to glue that right up against this red. And then if we have any to um, take off, we will. So we want to make sure that that's even all the way down. And that looks pretty good. Got a little dippy down here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to give that a rub. Okay, so... Next... We have the window sheet, and the window sheet I found, rather than um, try to do any guesswork here, I have this very narrow um, tape. This particular one is Sequin, I forget what the other name they call it, Be Creative maybe. It's double-sided, um, very narrow, nice and sticky. So that's going on this edge, and then we're going to put another piece on this edge. And that's going to go right up against here. And any, any of these things that you have running over, don't worry about it, you can straighten it up later. So I'm going to put two on this one, pretty close together. And if you um, test it first before you take both strips off of there in case you don't need both of them off. 
Okay, so we're going to remove that. Unfortunately, this stuff is really, st you know, caught. Static cling loves it and all the things stick to this acetate, so beware. You're going to pick up lots of little th things that you may not want, but you can always get them off later. So we're just going to fold that and press it. Give that a press. And then when you look on this side, you can see you've got enough here. And now where this goes clear to the end, you've got... You can remove the tape on both of these. It's just a good way to check to make sure you have all your bases covered. You know that you're not going to go over with the tape or too short on the acetate. So it's easier if you measure the acetate a little bigger than we actually need. Now we need this to butt right up here. And I think I'm going to give this a trim. So these here are, um, if you watch one of my hauls recently, these were my tonic scissors that I bought. I like them because they had the nice long blade. And so we're just going to trim down this little piece right down the whole length. There we go. And now when we turn it over, we want to line this edge up here. So we're going to lay that down. So how it's working is this edge is right up against the edge of the card. And then we're just pressing that down. And anything that doesn't look right, you can trim it off. Because we know we've got an overage up here at the top and at the bottom, so it's not going to be too bad. There we go. So that's that. Now we're just going to turn this card over and cut these pieces off here. And up here. There we go. Got a nice edge. Now we're going to do the top here, right to the edge, right to the side of the card. I'm not trying not to trim the card. There we go. So those are both done. So we've got that much of the card done. Not too bad. Okay, now I'm going to bring up my Mini Misty. And what happens is I laid my card, this strip that I cut off, in here. And um, I picked a nice straight line to follow it up with, and then I gave a test to see how my letters looked all lined up. And I used gold in the last one, and I'm going to use the Brilliant Silver on this one. Now, you can heat this up. Um, put your clear embossing powder on here, if you wish, and heat, heat it up. lovely coverage right here and then we're going to lay this close and wrap this back and forth and you don't have to go too overboard and there it is nice bright silver I can close that again and give it another push there we have it so this is just going to come out of here and give that a dry off. I'm happy with that. I'll lay that there. And now this will go directly in here. We're going to give that a chance to dry because I don't know how long it's going to take. And so this little thing here, I'll show you how we're going to do this. Just like the other one, I put a piece of twine on the edge. I'm just looking for my twine because I did cut it. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to cut another piece. Sorry about that. I 
I'm sure everybody has a piece of silver twine hanging around. So what I did was I just laid it down the side here. Just run a bead down the edge of your stocking. This is the filigree stocking. I put the twine here and then I just put the other side there so they're both side by side and then I just laid the twine into the glue and held that down. They also have a uh, funky glue that works well which is in this green. This is a tonic product too so I'll show you how this one works. You just lay a little bit of it on. This is a little bit stickier um, than the deluxe adhesive and it works really well too. I'm just going to, it dries clear, so I'm just going to lay that on the side so that we have a nice sticky side there. So we'll let that dry for a sec and when it when that glue dries you won't notice it so much. And then I have a little bow that I've tied. Okay, let's see. I'm not too sure if this is dry. I'm just going to zap it with the heat tool. This is a Wagner heat tool. I apologize for the noise, but... Some things can't be can't be uh, not done because I'll ruin all the work that we've done so far. Okay, so what I like to do at this point, and some people might call this cheating, but I like to move that out of the way, open this up, and you can see right here on the bottom where the bottom of this is. So you just want it to be just on the other side of that. Uh, metallic paper or foil paper so that the edge hides here. So we're just going to follow that and glue that right on there. And then when we're done, I have um, this silver backed ribbon that I've put the double sided adhesive on. And then I'm going to use my deluxe adhesive here, Nouveau. Deluxe adhesive. And how I like to do this is put a row to bead down here and then down here, across here. So just do your ends and then put a line in the center so that it doesn't bow out. I know I've not had it done that, but then I've always put this outline, I guess you could say. So we know we've got this line right here and we're just going to follow that. Oops, almost upside down, guys. So let's just follow that pencil mark. And we're going to keep that level. Okay. Press that down. Looks good. Fold that. You can't see the edges at all through the window because we took the time to mark that and then if this is just a simple finishing touch it's, it's, only, it's just decorative so if you didn't want to do this you certainly wouldn't have to let's get my let's get my tonic pokey tool here I'm sure that's not what it's called but that's what I'm calling it and um, you can get this kind of ribbon anywhere. So I'm just going to lay that, let it overhang a little bit on the end so that you can get it in the correct spot. Butt it right up against the paper. Now because the binding on this ribbon is white, it gives you some play around room that you wouldn't have if it was a different color or all the silver right to the end. So we're going to just butt that up. This tape is so strong. Butt that right up against the uh, P 
piece of paper that we lined in there. There we go. So we're going to trim that off. Use a little tonic um, serrated snips. They also don't allow glue things to stick to them, which is always nice. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing but down the other end. So right at the other side, let it hang over just a touch. And we're going to cut those flush, so it's no worries. And just push that over right up against your paper and press it in. There you go. Simple as that. Now we're just going to cut that off. And this ribbon won't fray. So you don't have to worry about that. And then there we go. So that's easy. And then when you open that, you don't see any of the foil, but if it was standing, it would uh, you would. So that's why I put that little added touch in. Okay, so here we are. We're down to the countdown. And you can also finish it off on the inside. I did on this one, but I don't need to take you can glue that in you don't I don't need to take your time for that I think I'm liking the silver one better than the gold okay so here this is um, nice and dry here so all that I did with this you could secure a brad to it or you could put a hole um, through the card and right um, tie your ribbon through it and, and whatnot but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut off these edges just like this and put um, some of this tonic funky glue. I'm just going to pick a spot which is going to be right here. Just put a little blob on there, not too much, not too little. And you might have a better way of doing this, but this is just how I've chosen to do it. So I lay that in there with the cord. Right, the cord's going to go down like that, so it's in the middle of it. And then you take your nicely tied ribbon. That's it there. And then you just lay that in on top of the glue. Nothing too much, but enough that it'll hold it on there and make sure the edge doesn't fit your stocking here doesn't fall over the edge and so if you just apply some pressure there I'm going to use my tweezers and hold that in and let that dry and that's just as easy as that the card's done and it looks pretty good too and the shaker here has silver and gold inside a uh, gold silver and red glass beads I'll hold those up to you in a second the red are glass beads and the silver are micro beads. So as I say, gift with purchase, $50 or more, nice filigree dye um, before taxes and shipping. And on my website, if you leave a comment, I will give away a random drawing, this stamp, this filigree, and the Noel stamp that we used on the inside of this card. So. Let me know what you think, whether or not this appeals to you, if you're going to give it a go. And you can see the beads inside there. Red glass beads with micro beads. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, stay tuned for our new art class. And um, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I appreciate you taking time on your very busy day to spend it with me. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.